Alright fam, let's talk. So you're looking at the technical report written by OpenAI in 2016 about their roadmap towards measuring the ever-increasing intelligence in their successor models. So stick with me till the end of this video because I have some thoughts I would like to share. But before we dive right into the report, please like and subscribe. And again, shout out to that one viewer who always comes back to watch my video even when no one else watches it. I don't know who you are personally, but thank you. Alright, back to the video. Why did I feel I should bring this to your attention? Here, this paper is quite short, but there are some hidden gems on it. There are four goals on how OpenAI measures the intelligence of its models. At OpenAI, it is believed that the usefulness of their AI models is directly proportional to how well it could accomplish a given task. That means, the better it is at solving the given task, the better its intelligence. Here, even OpenAI said it themselves. We plan to build an agent that can perform a complex task specified by language and ask for clarification about the task if it's ambiguous. Okay, this just reminds me about OpenAI's different levels of intelligence, for which I think the new O1 model is right at level 2, and the next model that could initiate a conversation, ask for clarification just like a human would, is code named Orion and is right at level 3. You probably knew that already, but what really surprises me is go 1, 2, and 4. They all talk about giving an AI agent a body. So basically having an NPC run through worlds and accomplishing different tasks. I think they are right on track with that one. Can you remember when uh, Microsoft, um, who we all know like um, has a stake in OpenAI, launched this Minecraft game where the agent could build um, like um, different um, things with tools and flee from danger. So yeah, I feel agents are right at the corner with the next model after O1. But you guys haven't seen the real deal. So OpenAI said it themselves, we are working to enable a physical robot perform basic housework. The reason why this is different from the other goals is that embodied intelligence like skills. For example, an embodied intelligence could feel forces, friction, texture with the aid of its sensors. This is something that an, an LLM stuck in the computer can't just grasp. OpenAI's counterintuitive approach to this was to use Sora to build a world replicate. By a world replicate or world model, I mean an environment where all these forces, stresses and textures exist, more like simulating a world on a computer. The question is, will this be enough? Aren't the approximation errors between simulation and reality big for them to like have a good domain transfer between the simulation and the real world? For now, OpenAI is basing its future embodied intelligence from pure software or simulation without caring much about building out the hardware side. Again, agents aren't really agents if they can't move in the physical world, and innovators aren't really innovators if they are bound by a data center somewhere in the middle of nowhere. That's exactly why I feel that general intelligence shouldn't be stuck in a box and should be free to explore you and interact with the real world. But come to think of it, like how many uh, manufacturers will build a highly capable household humanoid robot and have uh, and not have an operating system on board? Here comes the issue with OpenAI. They want to be the operating system upon which every other thing is built upon. But that can't work except that they build their own hardware. Have you noticed that all advanced tech usually have software and hardware deeply intertwined? What if the manufacturer creates a hardware that's not just as capable as OpenAI software? Even figure that is backed by OpenAI themselves use its own proprietary system control and, um, and sensors to run their bots. One next, another startup backed by OpenAI too, uses its own proprietary systems and controls too. So OpenAI is then left with the only approach of building a model as a layer above the manufacturer's foundational operating system, more like an app on a smartphone. But when you own the smartphone yourself, you can forge it into the best product ever. In that event that OpenAI couldn't build their own hardware, um, find tasks like tactile sensing, force sensing, texture filling, manual dexterity will be handled by the manufacturer themselves, while much more macro tasks like um, building a nuclear reactor, building a data center will be captured by OpenAI's embodied intelligence. 
this could work well but i fear that the manufacturers um, the manufacturer hosting openai's model um maybe the bottleneck for achieving truly embodied intelligence all in all i think openai's hope of reaching AGI is something that would be difficult to achieve without letting the genie out of the box and even after letting the genie out of the box to observe and interact with the physical world i just feel that openai should create a hardware team for its embodied intelligence instead of relying on third parties because third parties don't share the same soul as the company so um I know OpenAI has considered robotics in the past, but issues like non-availability of real-world data cut them short. But shit, someone has to get the data right, like why can't it be them? Just like Figure and Tesla are doing right now with the development of their humanoids to, like, let's say, to ultimately get data for them. So my point is OpenAI should consider building a bot. If not, the monopoly by Tesla will be insane in the bot space. And let's be honest, the other companies don't stand a chance against Tesla. Only a sizable company severely focused on the mission would achieve parity or a total knockdown of Tesla. If that's not opening here, then I don't know who. Uh, well, that's been my two cents. If you stay till this point, thanks, but could you do me a favor and make this known that you actually need a bot from OpenAI with this hashtag? So whenever they post on X, I mean OpenAI, whenever OpenAI posts on X, or maybe when Sam posts on X, just leave this tag right there. One thing I love about them is that they listen to their users and hopefully they listen to this request to get into the game to challenge Tesla. I, I, like i'd love to see that so much i love competition in the tech space all right i'll see you guys in the next one peace out